Hi, it's Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors and today we're going to take a look at a collection of Warhammer that I bought for £80. Right, so, where do we start? Okay, so, story, a little bit of background behind all this. Um, I was on Facebook, um, on the marketplace, just having a little scour, and um, I bought a uh, mat off a guy for... Uh, uh, one of the GW 6x4 mats uh, probably about a couple of weeks back and um, he said oh, he'd contact me again if he uh, found some more Warhammer stuff uh, that he wanted to sell so I was like yeah okay then I wasn't holding up much thing for it and I kind of forgot about it but then yesterday I got a uh, I got a message saying oh, I've got loads of stuff that I want to get rid of he didn't list any of the items he just sent loads of pictures so I have no idea what is actually in all of this um, I've not really had a chance to look, so I've saved it for this video because I thought it'd be quite an interesting one to do. Um, so this is the guy's entire collection, and I got it for 80 quid, so happy days. Um, what we'll do is we'll go through it all and uh, we'll see what we've got and uh, try and make it a bit constructive. I shall save this box to last because this is a gathering has got, through the pictures, got quite a lot of models in. So I should put that down to one side and then we shall work through the bag, the bag of goodies, and um, go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in towards the table so you can get a better look, and uh, cut my cut my face out. So, all right, see you soon. Okay, we're back, and um, yeah, so let's start with this. Like I say, I don't really know what's in here. I'm quite excited because I've never done one, I've never done this before. I've never just bought someone's entire collection. Um, so yeah, let's go through it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it all. Um, I might keep some of it. Um, I'll probably end up selling most of it um, if, if it's not stuff I'm interested in. But I thought I'd make a great video and I'm pretty sure I can make my money back on some of this. So it's kind of paid for itself sort of video. So just by sheer volume of plastics, I think I got it quite a cheap deal. I think the guy wanted to just get out of the hobby completely, which is fair enough. He wanted to sell it, um, was more than willing to buy it. So, first stuff to go with. Uh, first Strike uh, Warhammer 40k start set. Um, I don't know if it's actually the first strike, so let's open it and have a look. Okay, looks like it. Looks like it's actually the first strike set. So... Got some, I think they're Reavers sprues for Space Marines. There's some Plague Marines in here. Um, measure, tape measure sort of thing. Yeah, this looks brand new. Uh, there's a little battle board down the bottom here. This, this, yeah, this looks brand new. Um, I have seen this in Games Workshop, and I know that this is 25 quid. So I was going to buy it when I first started. Well, it's 25 quid when I started. So I don't know. Um, don't know what it is now, but this was £25. I'm pretty sure they still sell it because I've seen it in GW. So that's 25 quid retail. I don't know, maybe I don't know, 15 quid or something. It's still brand new as well, really. I don't, I don't know. I'm quite I, I like to sell just above half price really when I sell second hand. So well to me that's 15 pounds. So it doesn't interest me because I don't have a Space Marine Army, I don't have a Plague Marine Army, I've got rid of it all from the Conquest stuff, so that doesn't really interest me. Okay? That'll probably go on the sell side of things. So we'll stick that there. Okay. Right. Apparently this is a Warhammer Eternal Stair and Dreadfire Portal. Okay, so this looks like it's fantasy. Um, not too sure what's in here. Oh. Okay, so it looks like it's all built. And they're just little bits of sprue. A little bit of damage there, I guess. Um, not gonna lie, it's not put together the best. Um, whoever. There's a lot of mould lines and bits and bobs, but it's not really anything you couldn't fill with some green stuff. Um, uh, yeah, it's 
the side of the side of there. You can see on the stairs it's a little bit gappy. Um, it looks like it's plastic, yeah, it's plastic glue. Really. So that might come apart. Right, okay, that's interesting. So I could probably get this apart and maybe tidy it up a little bit, but um, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, I could probably tie that up. It looks like there's maybe a part missing. Yeah, there's a platform that's meant to go on the top here, unless it's in one of these boxes, which is possible, I guess. Um, so there's a little bit missing of it. Um, I don't think they make this anymore. I'm not too sure, but there's some terrain anyway. Uh, that'll be going in the cell file because fantasy wise, not really a fantasy player, so doesn't really interest me. Move these, this box out of the way because it's quite chunky. Might use it for some more storage. Okay, ooh. Space Marine Rhino, retro. Okay, so this is Apparently a rhino, so let's have a look. Ah, this is not a rhino. <laughs> Looks like some templates and some paintbrushes. Okay, these are the famous templates I've heard so much about because obviously I didn't join Warhammer back in uh, seventh edition for these templates, but I've never owned a set of templates. But looks like I do now. I will probably keep those because I don't own any, so I'm quite interested in that. Um, I'll stick them over there because I'm, I'm probably going to keep those. Uh, some old paint brushes uh, that have not been taken care of at all. Um, I might just chuck these straight in the bin. Um, or I might actually, I'll keep that one because that would be a good mixing brush maybe. I'll keep a couple of these for mixing brushes. But the rest of that can go in the bin. Uh, there is a couple of Eldar bits, uh, there's a jet bike there, okay plastic, um, rough, um, not not a rough paint job but not not my sort of paint job, that would uh, that's going to need a strip, uh, this, is the, this is the thing, do I sell these models like as, as is, or do I strip them first and then sell them? I think I could get more money if I strip and then sell them, if um, they're ones I don't want. So that one, I don't know, I'm not really interested in, to be honest with you. And same with this uh, other bike here, I'm not really interested in that. Could make it into a cool bit of terrain, um, possibly, because they are quite old. Um, maybe, 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 maybe a bit of terrain out of it. I'm just trying to see if there's any other bits for them in here. Uh, not really. No, not really. There's a base for something. I don't know what, so I'll pop that to the other side. But at the moment, stick those there. Uh, what else we got? A uh, load of old school transfers. The orc transfers. Orc. 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 Very old orc transfers there. Um, stickers. These are from 94, so they're stickers. Old Dark Angels transfer. Or a jet bike transfers. I know this terrain, I believe it's from second edition. Um, Warhammer uh, 40k. So I'll stick that there. Uh, base for that bike, but no uh, metal stand. There's a couple of weapons in here as well. Um, just a load of transfers. Elder, you've got old school ultramarine transfers. I don't know if these are worth any sort of money, to be honest with you. Uh, Space Wolves. 
Eldar, Eldar, um, Blood Angels, uh, Grav Tank for Eldar. Oh, that's interesting. An Elder Falcon Grav Tank um, and a Space Marine transfer. So that's interesting. And there's a box for Rhino. So there could be a Rhino in here somewhere, but they're just transfers and stuff. So put them down there. Okay. Right, I'll tell you what, before we start, let's just move this bag off. Right, this looks interesting. Um, the Horus Heresy Betrayal Calf. Please let the models be in here. No, Damn. Okay, fair enough, no models. Um, to be honest with you, not really that bothered about the models because anyone can buy them. Um, thinking about it, you got some heresy dice there. This looks brand new, to be fair. The Horace Betrayal at Calfactual book. I don't think this is printed anymore either, to be fair. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, looks like I've got the tiles and they're double sided. Okay, so the tiles are there. Um, the rule book's there for it. And uh, the dice, tokens, and cards. I've not seen these before, so it's just tactic cards and bits, I think. Oh, Legion Terminator Squad. Oh, they're quite cool, look at that. There's the Marines. Different bits of uh, kit. That's quite cool. Cards are in there. So everything to play the actual games in here, just lacking the actual physical model. So this could be a sellable thing to somebody that wants the Betrayal of Calf stuff, just not the models. It is out of print again. So um, again, not really something that interests me per se. Um, but yeah, that's going to go in the cell rack. Just pop that down there again. I know it doesn't look like the thingy, but it look, I think I've got a lot of models coming up. So um, We've got a loose box of everything, random. Okay, so looks like I've got a load of terrain. Um, again, need to strip. Needs to go in some isopropanol, because that's what I used to strip all my stuff. I will dump this in iso. Um, I'll tell you now, because a lot of people obviously probably like, uh, are you ever going to get the paint off um, the plastic? I did take a couple of models that were really bad out of this box. They look like they got really bad gunky paint on it. Um, and I've chucked them in isopropanol last night. When I got up this morning, I went to just see if it's coming loose and it is coming off. So uh, they are salvageable by the looks of it. Um, guys not used lacquer and stuff like that to actually properly see them so happy days um, but yeah there's some terrain there some more terrain here people write off terrain like this like broken terrain um, but don't write it off because you can still make a really cool bit of kit of terrain out of broken bit especially if you want ruined city stuff so you could put that on a nice little base like that um, and uh, do something with it um, like put it in like loads of rubble and you know, a bit of, bit of sculpt and mould and stuff and you can really make terrain like this uh, go a long way but again um, that's not too bad that's probably workable mm. yeah, it's, it could be workable to be fair not too sure I probably, to be honest with you I'll probably end up stripping most of it 90% of this stuff I'll, I'll end up stripping um, there's some more terrain Oh, so there's another section of this. Okay, so where does that go? Is that a different piece maybe? Could be a different bit. It's like, but you can just start start experimenting. I'll just put 
put that there for a minute. No, now I might find some more bits. Um, so bits of terrain again. Some more of this stuff here. I don't know. I don't know what this is. You guys might know what it is, but I, I'm gathering it's 40 k's from 40 k. But it's before my time. It's that sort of terrain. Um, some random Egyptian resin stuff. Um, a bit of a basilisk. Maybe the rest of it's in there. But again, don't write off bits of terrain like that because again, you can do stuff with it. So, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that will buy all this loose terrain. So that's another piece like that. So maybe that can go like that. So that's more terrain. Ah, oh, little, uh, there's some rocks. That's interesting. Maybe for a fish tank or something like that, but still, that's pretty cool terrain, that is. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably keep that and do something with it. Um, oh, here's that bit. So there's that bit that goes, looks like it goes with this. But yeah, this is all salvageable. All salvageable, and I could probably sell most of it if I'm not gonna use it. Um, some sprues, uh, that's a near enough full towel weapon sprue. I'll keep that because I, uh, I'm i gonna be doing a towel army at some point. Um, that's just an empty sprue that can go in the bin. Uh, we've got the empty sprue again, bin. Part of a Space Marine sprue. Um, not really my cup of tea. Bin, and another empty screw bin. More terrain. Oh, that's pretty cool. Big old resin bridge there. Look, it's got a fair chunk of it missing. Maybe that's in there. If it is, that's repairable. I'm gonna have a look for that in a minute. But, um, let's have a look. Oh, there's some more of this second edition terrain. Bit actually, it's a bit rough and ready. You never know, someone might want it for a quid. Second edition terrain there. A bit more. Okay, all right. What's in here? Here, let's just move some of this terrain around right there. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing, really. Just a load of terrain. Move it out of the way. That's it. And what we got here? Uh, Space Marine Razorback Transfer. Okay. And it looks like a metal a heavy bolt there. Uh, what have we got in here? Some parts, maybe? Yeah, they look like Harlequins, Dark Eldar, uh, plastic or fine cast. Just bits. Yeah, just bits and bobs in there. I think it's fine cast. Just some weapons. And again, that's sell. That'll be cheap. That's what I mean. Some of this stuff, if it's like little bits like that, I'll just put on like buy and sell groups, like 50p or something like that. People can have their way with it. But um, someone might be after a metal Razorback uh, part. You just never know, do you? So. Uh, this is Lord of the Rings. This looks like Urukai. Yeah, it is. It's Urukai stuff. Metal Urukai stuff from Lord of the Rings. Um, that's quite cool because I collect Lord of the Rings stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Um, to 
be fair, the more and more I look in this box, the more and more it does look like there is some Lord of the Rings bits and bobs in here. Um, just lots of little bits of terrain still, I'm just picking out. Scrap bits of paper. <laughs> uh, terrain again. Okay, right. Let's start getting some models. Right. Okay, first thing I'm seeing is some skeletons. Right, I don't, like I say, I don't collect fantasy. I don't know what these are. These are, I'm gathering they're from, I'm gathering they're from maybe the vampire counts. So, but I don't know, they might not even be that. If you guys know what they are, that'd be handy. So yeah, they've got a load of skeletons. I can't tell if they're GW bases, I'm not too sure. They might not be, I'm not, I'm not, like I say, I'm not 100% sure. But, got two, four, six, seven there. There might be more. Eight. Eight skeletons like that. Bit in a disrepair state, of course, but Again, people buy this stuff cheap because they want to fix it up and do stuff with it. But it looks like I've got a load of skeletons. Let's pick these out. Some sort of chariot. Obviously the guy who's had this stuff, not being horrible on him, he's not really looked after it very well. Um, just a fact really. Maybe yeah, so I'm thinking maybe this guy, these, because these guys haven't got riders. Maybe, maybe, maybe that goes like that. That's glued on there. That looks like that might be the case. And uh, from there, yeah, I think that's about, I think that's right. I'm gathering there, glued on like that, that goes there. And you got yourself a little skeleton guy on the back there and um, go from there but just got random dudes again these are going on the cell because I don't I don't use skeletons Do my best to try and repair most of these before I sell them anyway. Right. There's a load of skeletons anyway. And um, what's this? Uh, so this is Skaven. Looks like a dude with a flamethrower, which is pretty cool. He's um, quite a sweet little model. Again, strip, need to strip more. So that'll get stripped, but again, not interested in any scaven really. Um, not my thing. Okay, let's, I'll tell you what, let's start on it, because this is going to take a while. we we'll have to start getting these out. Right, okay. Lord of the Rings, definitely. I've got a feeling that's a Zeldor and his father, because there's a the half-sword there. Dead man laying next to him. So I think that's a Zeldor. Tell me on the back here. 99 anyway this base was so but it's metal so again strip and I think I'm gonna do that with all these models they're all gonna to have to be stripped um, so they're not my sort of paint job all right uh, I know what these are these are horses from Lord of the Rings so it's got a lot of snapped horse horse feet from Lord of the Rings 
what those bases are. Uh, that's what these are, I guess. Obviously they match up to a horse, so I'll probably match the horse. I'll give it a file down and get it glued back on. Um, again, I need to strip them all. Oops, some more skeletons. More skelly bones. Let's see if we can pick out some more horses. What else have we got? palm tree, another horse thing. Uh, orcs. And that is Gollum. So that is Gollum. So the characters I'll put there. And uh, that's one of the horse riders. So we can go there. Uh, another orc. Let's just grab a handful of these. Instead of faffing. Right, so rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish. Go in there. Rubbish. Rubbish. Right, okay, so we've got some Gondor archers. There's one there. Some Gavin, this is one of the bases. Gondor. Blonde Archer with Broken Bow there. It's not too bad because I can fix that. That is a Man of Rohan with a bow. That's half a metal horse. Okay, so there go the horses. Uh, that looks like a Man of Gondor again. Base for something broken. There's a fair bit of broken stuff in there, I'm not going to lie. But might be able to do stuff with it, so might be able to put a new sword and stuff on some of it. That just looks like it's missing a shield. Um, so Gondor can go there. Orc stuff is over there. Rohan. Go for a spear. Can go there. I can't actually tell what he is. He's a man of some sort. I'm gonna say Rohan. Goblin Archer. Rohan again. Again, broken spear, but we can do something with it. Uh, man of Gondor with sword. This is quite good because I, I'm into Lord of the Rings. So. We've got that Lord of the Rings set still made, so that's quite interesting. Again, another guy with a shield, um, with a sword, but the sword snapped off. Uh, same with the Orokai there. And Gondori guy. There's some sort of, um, there's one of the riders there. There's some sort of banner, I don't really know what that's for, but it's, again it's snapped, but we can do stuff with this, we can do stuff with this. Um, oh that's, um, what's his name's dad, oh, Boromir, he's the Steward of Gondor, that's Steward of Gondor there, that's another character. That's pretty smart. Cool thing is all these are out of print, uh, some of them, so pretty cool. So Archer Gondor, Urukai again, uh, Rohan, Square Shield, I'm not too sure what that is, that could be an Orc. Uh, there's an, ah, oh, cool, that's a Berserker. So, they're the dudes. They're the dudes with the two handed swords for the orcs. Um, which is pretty sweet. Uh, there's the metal rider for that horse, but I don't know who that is. We'll stick him there. Um, I think these are orcs. 
by the looks of it, so the orcs can go there. Another rider there. Right, that's apart from an orc, it can go there for a minute. Uh, Rohan, Bin Bin, useless. Again, that looks like a part for a Chaos Space Marine, I can go there. There's an elf, you uh, can go there. Put that to the side as well, that's some sort of skeleton, um, some sort of metal model, I don't know what that's for. Um, bases. There's a goblin. Chaos, just some random models, or goblins. It looks like he's an orc of some sort. Right, there's a bow for one of these guys over here, one of his arms. It's probably this dude here. So that's going over there. Another right. orc, a spear. Make sure we get a big clump of these out. So elves, um, again these need salvaging work, Rohan guys, orcs, Rohan, Berserker again, two-handed. Uh, some more Gondors. Orcs. Gondor. Elves. And so we've got a few armies here, to be honest with you. It's quite, uh, quite interesting. Quite a few Lord of the Rings stuff. Another arm for Skeleton. Uh, Orc again. Oh, that is a metal model. Right, he's probably a character, but I don't know what of. Uh, he's he's Rohan, but he's a character. He's metal, so I don't know if he's a character. So stick him there just in case. And another guy there. All this scrap, scrap. So that's part of a rhino door there. Couple of rhino doors. Just put them to one side just in case we find a rhino. Bin, bin, bin. It's a bit more terrain. Lots of models here. Um, more elves, real A lot of these are Lord of the Rings. A lot of Lord of the Rings stuff, but again, you've got snap weapons and bits, but we can do stuff. There's Boromir. I wonder if this guy had the collection from the magazines. Could be. It's just a shame that he didn't take care of them. Uh, this Sam. That's pretty cool. Elf Archer. Oh, another skeleton weapon. More goblins.
trying to grab a load of these out while I've got, I've got the chance to. There's another skeleton. Oh, Gandalf. There he is there, or Gandalf the Grey. Gondor. Orcs. Gondor. Marihan. Getting a lot of Gondor. The thing is, with the with what I've, what you can do with the spears, you know, you've got snap spears. You can um, just get a bit of metal, um, really thin metal, or um, you know, like the really thick. Oh, I can't think of the word. Not pipe, but you can get this really thin metal, like the bars, um, and you can just glue it on. It's not really a drama. Sword, you can always just cut off other bits. Okay, that's a metal or character, I think. I think some of these guys, some of the characters in Lord of the Rings are worth a bit of money. I'm not, I'm not, you know, not 100% sure. If you guys want to whack a comment down, that'd be pretty handy to find that out. Um, first non-war hammery Lord of the Rings model or anything. I don't know what that is. Um, Games Workshop 2003. Is that fantasy? Could that be an empire guy? Empire archer maybe? 100%. All I know is I'm still got money about halfway through on there. Um, just trying to get models out now. Nice the character seems to be intact. The problem is I don't I don't want to chuck anything away because you know so someone they might be able to rescue some of these models, you know. And I don't want to be the one that threw all this threw models away, I'm not like that. I hate to be like that. Just chucking plastic away. Right. Okay. That's a man of Gondor again. This character. That says Faramir. That looks like Faramir in his proper like Gondor armor, but he's missing an arm. So his arm's probably in there somewhere. You can try and find that. Um, got a corn berserker there from 40k. Some more orcs. 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 Obviously, some of these are Mordor orcs, some of them are Isengard orcs. Um, I'm not sorting through them yet. This is obviously going to take me a lot longer than when we're off of here. Um, I, that could be a Zeldor again. Yeah, that is. That's a Zeldor again. That's another one. Uh, that's another metal model on a horse. I don't know what that is. Oh, he's gone to also go over there. Some more elves. Uh, Rohan. Elves. Gondor. Oh, this Faramir is a ranger. It's a metal ranger Faramir. He's intact. Good to see. More orcs. It's a real shame he didn't look after these. Um, Corn Berserker again. Gondor, Orc, Orcs, Orc, Orc, 
more elves. Don't think I've come across one elf with his sword intact yet. Uh, that one. Orc. Orc. It's like some sort of flag on a spear. It's like an elf. Being part of a ladder for the orc stuff. Being base. Let's see what that's all about. Another skeleton. Still a lot of models, still a lot of models yet. Just random bits of rubbish. I don't really want any of these palm tree things. Don't know where they're from. It's another horse. Oh, Legolas. Is there for the orcs? Another one. Orc. Not too sure what this dude is. I'm going to put him here because he's got a cape. Same with Rowan. Gondor. Oh, the first spear that's actually intact. Rowan. Oh, another skeleton. <laughs> Spears. Horse. Bow, bow, more bows. There's quite a lot of Roman here. Now, uh, lots of archers. Uh, oh, oh, metal model again. Borokai. Uh, there's a couple of uh, more elves here. He's missing a base. So I find a base loose. I'll put him on it. Oh, who's this? This is Mary. So we've got Sam, I think it's Sam anyway, it looks like Sam. I will double check actually, because it could be Frodo. No, it is Sam, I was right. I wonder if we've got Frodo and Pippin in there as well. That'd be interesting. Um, that looks like Lurtz. Yep, yeah, Lurtz there. I swear I've seen, no, that's that model, isn't it? Oh, it just says Captain, or oh, Captain. So that's an old Captain, but that's Lurtz. More Rorks. <laughs> more Rorks, more Rorks. Uh, Gondor. Walk again, Gondor. No, not Gondor, Rohan, so. I'm getting there. It's an auto, part of an auto game. <laughs> Model wise, we're looking like we're coming to the end in here. Slowly, I'm starting to find all the skeleton parts. So they're all going over there because they need to be glued. I'm definitely going to reorganise all this, I'm not just chucking it back in here. That looks like another lurch. Yeah, it is. It's another one there. Oh no, Captain, that's another Captain. Another one of those weird 
weird ones there. Let me get these out. No Gimli or anything now, I think. Give this one quick sieve just to see if I can see anything else. That's important. Of course. There's some ladders, snap ladders in here. Not really any use. Got some arms. Could be Faramir's arm there actually. Possible. Let's go through this anyway. So horse, orc, uh, dude. Another one of those weird. I wonder if these are the old uh, ghost models. Are they came plastic. I'm not too sure. Um, use this. Elf, elf sunning. I don't know what I don't know what that is, but it's got a broken sword. But you can go with the elves. Use this. She's definitely an elf. I don't know who. Not too sure. Alright, there's those horses. Gondors, uh, bows again, elves, this Gondor again, got some orcs, a lot of there, uh, a lot of Rohan. Well, a lot of Rohan. Skeletons. Yeah, that is. Another alerts there. Eh? How weird. Oh, Aragon. There's Aragon. more orcs there. Right, let's just quickly check in here. Let's make sure oh, it's going to go. There's another guy. You've got a banner for Gondor. There's a banner there. Before I chuck any of that out, I'm definitely going to sieve through it. Okay, right, so that's all that. Um, give me two minutes. I'm going to just tidy most of this away or we'll move it to one side because um, we've still got that box not open yet. So just give me a couple of minutes. I'll tidy up a little bit and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so while I was uh, sorting out that stuff, I'm looking through the thing. I found some other stuff as well, just in the in the, in the junky bit. Um, another one of those sort of skeleton ghost things. I found another Sam. This time he sat by a campfire, um, so it's a different model of him. 
and uh, I found a Grima worm tongue. Um, so that that's him as well. So that's another character um, off the list. There's quite a, quite a few characters I've got here. So um, that's pretty cool. Okay, so oh, box. What's in here? Uh, oh, we got models. We have models. Okay, right. Heavily thick painted models. Let's put it that way. So these are like ah, uh, these are like some of the stuff that needs a good, massively strip. Um, but they are forty k stuff. Right. We got some skeletons still. So these keep popping up blooming everywhere. These skeletons. Um, Looks like we got some Chaos Space Marines. Again, all these guys are getting stripped. That paint is so thick. Oh my goodness me. Right. It's like uh, these corn berserkers maybe? I'm not too sure, but Chaos Marines. Some metal ones here as well. A couple of orcs, <laughs> another skeleton. God, these skeletons are coming from everywhere. There's a second edition Gretchen. There's an orc there. Uh, double um, pistol. So again. Oh, there is a towel. Okay, it's the first town model. Oh, another town. Keeping the town 100% because I'm doing a town army at some point. Okay, these models all look a bit better intact. Some more uh, Space Marine stuff. Some more Lord of the Rings. That's a metal model, whatever that is. I'll check that out in a minute. Um, some more uh, Chaos Space Marine stuff. Chaos Space Marine. Ah, that's possibly what that banner's for. Let's have a look. Does that fit on there? Yes, it does. That's that banner. Okay. So he goes with that. That's fine, we can repair that. Okay, more hands of skeletons, more skeletons. Oh my goodness me, there's a lot of skeletons. It's not Gimli. Does that mean there could be some dwarves down here? You know what dwarves are like? Dwarven bread. Some Eldar bits. Could be in for some Eldar, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but we definitely got like skeleton arms. That's where all the skeleton parts are. That's handy because that means I can salvage those skeletons. That's metal, that's lizard men. Some sort. What skeleton parts? Okay. Some of these are just, mm, I don't think they're going to be salvageable. We can try. I will try and salvage all of it. Don't really want to waste any of it. Oh, okay. It's a bit different. Um, so, loads of corn berserkers. Cool 
these are one of these is like the models um, that I had in that box actually. So these will strip. Blood for the blood god and all that jazz. Berserkers. God, that's a lot of models. But to be fair, it's a lot of work <laughs> to get these up to scratch again, or even just to get them to a point where I can probably sell them for a good amount of money. Uh, what's this? Hellbrute. There's a hellbrew there. That's okay painted. Um, all right, these are actually space marines, blood angels. No, not blood angels, dark angels. And there's another one of these that I did try and strip, so they do strip this orange. They're dark angels. So a squad of dark angels. We're coming to the end though. Guys, we are coming to the end. Actually, go Some of these I don't know what they are. It's chaos, obviously chaos, but I don't know what it is. Same with that, that's probably something to do with corn again, and probably some sort of characters. Um, a bit of research is going to be to uh, go on about these guys. Um, don't know who that is, it's got two lightning claws, some sort of chaos terminator, maybe. Um, not 100% sure. Um, that's a Dark Angels librarian, so he's got the hood. He is a Terminator something. Maybe a captain, Terminator captain. Um, oh, I've seen these models before actually. These, are these, the. These might be the. What are they called? Oh, Deathwing, maybe. Could be the Deathwing. So Deathwing Terminators maybe. Um, and again, don't know what that is. Some sort of Space Marine. That is metal, whatever that is. That's a character of some sort. Not too sure what he is. Same with that, it's metal again. You guys might know what they are. I have no clue. Aha, what's this? Oh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, we have Gimli. There he is, a little Gimli. And who is that? Frodo. Frodo sat down against a tree. So anyone I've not found is Pippin, I think. Unless he's in here somewhere. Which could be. Alright, very old hammer skeleton there. Games Workshop 1987. That's from 1987. Um, that's some sort of metal horse dead thing. Again, not too sure. Some sort of chaos. Chaos Lord of some sort. 
there's a metal man of Gondor. Ooh, banner. See, some of these might be really rare, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely do with your help in the comments below. That's another Gondor on a horse. It's not here. It's not that horse, surely not. No, it can't be. Can't be. Got a Gondor. It's got to be part of Metal Horse. Uh, there's another Gandalf model there without his star. Again, that could be in the little box there. Some more berserkers. Some more orcs, more berserkers. All right, okay, some more towel there. We are very much coming to the end. We're on the last like six models. It's an orc. Some sort of space marine. It's chaos anyway. Um, another corn berserker. Another space marine there. Don't know what he is. Uh, there's a towel. Warrior and a fire warrior from Tau, and I think that be it. I think that's it. There's an axe there, a skeleton, and a sword or something that's stacked. Right, is that it? Yeah, you've got some of the some of the bits in here, like for the weapons, maybe for the Deathwing guys. Not too sure, maybe one of the arms. It's part of the Terminator, I'm not too sure. That could be his arm in there actually, to be fair. Yeah, I think that's his arm. So yeah, that's the, that's everything. Right, and obviously the case. Right, oh my goodness me. Right, plastic wise, um, let's just, I'll do a zoom out and uh, see my face again and um, we'll have a chat. Right, I'm back, um, so yeah. What you see is pretty much all of the stuff. Um, but obviously I've still got Betrayal of Calf stuff in there, uh, in the box down the bottom there. So for 80 quid, I think I did pretty well, not gonna lie. Yes, majority of it can be classed as needing a lot of TLC. Um, pretty much all of it needs TLC, to be honest with you. Um, it all needs stripping before I sell it, I think. Um, stuff that I wanna sell anyway. Um, I think the bonus here for me is the Lord of the Rings characters. Um, I think some of them are worth a bit of money, I think. I'm not too sure. You guys will probably know about that a bit more than me. Um, but it'd be nice to have the models as well. Um, so I might keep some of them, uh, especially like uh, the Fellowship guys. Yeah, I'm quite interested in keeping some of them. I might even I might even try and fix up most of the Lord of the Rings stuff, but that's a project for another time. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I am literally going to soak this stuff for about a month, maybe longer, in isopropanol, um, which is brilliant for stripping plastic. Um, that's what that's where all these stuffs going to go. This is going to go straight into isopropanol. I'm not going to mess about with it. I'm not going to keep any of the paint jobs I've decided. They're all going to go, and then once uh, they've all been stripped, it's going to take a good day, if not two days, to actually get all the paint off of these after I've, after they're um, 
been over their soap, so I'll get a toothbrush and stuff and go over every single one to get as much of this paint off as I can. Um, just to thin it down, just to make it go back to, not bare plastic, because it, it won't go back to bare plastic, because some of this paint is probably quite, and let, it depends actually, if they've primed the models, which if they've painted some of them like this, they possibly haven't, it might just go straight back to bare plastic, which would be handy. Um, but some of the models, if they've been primed, like I'm, Helper looks like it's probably been primed and stuff, you won't get it back to the original plastic um, all the time. But after that, it's gonna be a bit of repair, TLC work maybe, and um, yeah, go from there. But I can't see me keeping a lot of this, not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna end up passing most of it on, so selling most of it um, to recruit my, get my money back, maybe keep some of this stuff. Maybe do another one of these buyout projects. Um, you know, it'd be quite interesting to see um, what happens in six months I might do, or, or you know, six months time from now, I might do a little video, maybe even longer than that down the line, maybe it's gonna be a year. I don't know when I get around to doing this um, properly and just do an update of what's sold and what hasn't sold maybe. Um, let us know in the, the comments below anyway, guys, if, um, what you, you know, any of this stuff is rare or anything like that, because I've never seen the old uh, dude with the uh, dude with the banner, I'm not gonna lie, for Lord of the Rings, that's quite cool. Um, that's probably a model I'm gonna keep. Um, but yeah, most of the corn stuff, most of the 40K, oh, well, all the 40K stuff's gonna get uh, sold on. Um, same with the skeletons, that'll probably get sold on. Bits of the terrain, but yeah. That's, uh, that's the video for today. Something a lot different. <laughs> and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, see you again soon.